Have you ever wondered what makes some people more effective than others? The answer lies not in their innate talents, but in the habits they cultivate. One of the best guides to these habits is Stephen Covey's classic, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. This book has transformed millions of lives worldwide and today, we're going to delve into this treasure trove of wisdom. These seven habits are not just about improving productivity or getting more things done. They're about fostering a positive mindset, building strong relationships and creating a balanced life. They're about shifting the way we perceive the world and our place in it, from being proactive and beginning with the end in mind, to seeking first to understand then to be understood, each habit is a stepping stone towards becoming not just more effective, but a better version of ourselves. So let's dive into these habits and see how they can transform our lives. The first habit of highly effective people is being proactive. This concept is about more than just taking the initiative. It's about understanding that we are in charge of our own lives. We're not simply blown about by the winds of fortune, but rather we're captains, steering our ships in the direction we choose. Being proactive means taking responsibility for our actions and their results. It's about recognizing that we are the architects of our own destinies. We can't control everything that happens around us, but we can control how we respond. Proactive people don't blame circumstances or others for their situations, instead they look at what they can do to change, to improve, to move forward. They see opportunities where others see obstacles. They're not waiting for something to happen, they're making things happen. This habit, this mindset, is a cornerstone of personal effectiveness. It empowers us to take charge of our lives, to shape our futures. Remember the power is in your hands to shape your destiny. The second habit is to always begin with the end in mind. This habit is all about envisioning your destination before you set foot on your journey. It's like being a master architect, sketching out the blueprints of your goals before laying the first brick. Let's consider a simple example. If you're planning a dinner party, you would first decide on the desired outcome, a successful evening with satisfied guests. With this end in mind, you would then plan your menu, decor, and guest list to ensure that outcome. But this habit goes beyond just planning events. It's about life itself. Whether it's your career, relationships, or personal growth, having a clear vision of your desired outcome helps you make effective decisions, set priorities, and take the right actions. It's a compass that guides you through the complexities and distractions of life. And remember, this isn't about rigidly sticking to a plan. It's about having a guiding star, a clear vision that helps you navigate and adapt as you journey towards your goals. A clear vision leads to a clear path. The third habit is putting first things first. This is the cornerstone of effective management of not just our time, but also our life. Prioritization is the key. It's about understanding what really matters to us, what our values are, and then aligning our day-to-day -day actions and decisions with them. This habit is not just about organizing your to-do list, it's about organizing your life. It's about making the most important tasks a priority and ensuring they get done. It's about not being pulled into the urgency of others' needs and sticking to your own agenda. When we put first things first, we make better decisions. We avoid procrastination, we stay focused, and we feel in control. This habit helps us avoid the stress that comes with last-minute rushes and the regret of missed opportunities. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. How we use those hours, that's what separates the effective from the ineffective. Prioritize wisely, your time is valuable. The fourth habit is about thinking win-win. This habit emphasizes the importance of cooperation and mutual benefit in all aspects of life. It's about fostering a mindset where you seek benefits not just for yourself but for others as well. Let's take a moment to consider the dynamics of personal and professional relationships. When people feel valued, heard and respected, they are more likely to contribute positively. This is where the win-win mentality comes into play. By ensuring everyone involved feels like a winner, you're contributing to stronger relationships and a more positive environment. Think about it, when everyone wins, the energy and motivation levels are high, leading to increased productivity and satisfaction. This habit is not about being selfless. It's about understanding that your success is intertwined with the success of others. So, the next time you find yourself in a situation where decisions need to be made, remember to think win-win. A win for all is a win indeed. Habit 5 is to seek first to understand, then to be understood. This habit is all about listening empathetically to others, placing ourselves in their shoes, and understanding their perspective before we share our own. It's about prioritizing communication, 
not just as a tool to express ourselves but as a means to comprehend others. Imagine you're in a disagreement. Your first instinct might be to argue your point, to make sure you're heard. But what if you paused, took a step back, and tried to truly understand where the other person is coming from? You might find that their perspective enlightens your own, and a resolution becomes more attainable. This habit is not just about being a better listener, it's about becoming a better communicator, a better problem solver, and a more empathetic individual. It's about fostering relationships built on mutual understanding and respect. Understanding is the key to effective communication. The sixth habit is to synergize. This is all about the magic that happens when we work together. Synergy is a concept that steps outside the realm of individual effort and embraces the power of collective action. It's the idea that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Imagine a team where each member brings their unique strengths, knowledge, and perspectives. When these diverse elements come together, they create a force that is far more potent than any single contribution. That's synergy in action. In the context of personal effectiveness, this habit encourages us to seek out opportunities for collaboration. It's about recognizing that we don't have all the answers, and that's perfectly okay. By combining our skills and resources with those of others, we open up a world of possibilities for innovation, problem solving, and achievement. So remember, the next time you're faced with a challenge, don't go it alone, synergize, together we can achieve more, achieve. The seventh and final habit is to sharpen the saw. This habit is all about self-improvement and continuous learning. It's a reminder that we should never stop growing, never stop enhancing our skills, and never stop expanding our knowledge. Imagine your mind as a saw. The more you use it, the more you need to take care of it to keep it sharp. This means you should always be learning, always be curious, always be open to new ideas. It means being open to change and willing to adapt your skills to meet new challenges. But sharpening the saw isn't just about professional development. It's also about personal growth. It's about maintaining a balanced life, with time for relaxation, reflection, and renewal. It's about taking care of your physical health, your mental health, and your emotional health. In essence, sharpening the saw is about maintaining your greatest asset, you. So, never stop learning, never stop growing. So, these are the seven habits of highly effective people. Let's take a moment to revisit these habits and consider their impact on our lives. First, we have the habit of being proactive. This encourages us to take responsibility for our actions and decisions rather than being reactive to the circumstances around us. It's about understanding that we have the power to shape our own destiny. The second habit, begin with the end in mind, reminds us to visualize our goals and work towards them. It's about setting a clear direction for our lives and aligning our actions accordingly. With the third habit, put first things first, we learn the importance of prioritizing tasks that are most essential to achieving our goals. It's all about focusing on what truly matters. The fourth habit, think win-win, promotes a mindset of mutual benefit. It's about pursuing outcomes that are advantageous for everyone involved, fostering an environment of cooperation rather than competition. The fifth habit, seek first to understand, then to be understood, encourages us to listen empathetically before voicing our opinions. It's about understanding others deeply, which in turn helps us to communicate our ideas more effectively. The sixth habit, synergize, emphasizes the power of teamwork. It's about combining our strengths to achieve more than we could as individuals. Finally, the seventh habit, sharpen the saw, teaches us the importance of continuous learning and personal growth. It's about maintaining our physical, mental, and spiritual health to ensure we're always at our best. These habits are not just strategies for success but also pathways to a more fulfilled and meaningful life. By integrating these habits into our daily routines, we can enhance our effectiveness in every aspect of life, personally, professionally, and socially. It's about transforming our habits and in turn, transforming ourselves. But remember, these habits are not a quick fix. They require consistent practice and dedication. So start today, start small, and gradually these habits will become second nature. Remember, effectiveness is not an act, it's a habit. Make it yours.